Yes, and welcome once again to a brand new Gomer Plays series. Yes, I've hinted about it on Tumblr and other places. Uh, this is a Fire Red run, but it's going to be a little bit different than the normal Fire Red run. Yeah, uh, so you can see I've I've done a little bit of a uh, run before this, you know, to kind of test things out because I actually changed some stuff around. And since we don't like looking at those stupid fucking tutorial things that they force you through whenever you start a new game, um, what you're going to see on the screen is going to be pretty much my setup for this entire thing, rules and, and other such. So here we go. First off, this is a hack. Yes, I have actually taken the time and hacked this game. That's why it took a little bit longer to get out than it did for, say, Pokemon Quartz, for example. Um, you know, just little things here and there. Mostly it's cosmetic along with a few different uh, wild Pokemon changes that, that may come up here and there. Um, it, it, and, and of course, they're the uh, wild Pokemon that I am actually looking at are um, they're, they're pretty rare in the routes that I have them. So you, we may run into them, we may not run into them. Even I don't remember where I've placed them all at this point. It's been so many and so long. So <laughs> it'll be an interesting thing. Um, also, I am actually going to be starting with Umbreon, because Umbreon is my favorite Pokemon. But, I went a step further, and, after I tweak a few other things, I'm going to be releasing an IPS patch for this, so if you have a ROM of this or what have you, and you want to give it a try yourself, then you'll, you'll be allowed to. And with that end, I actually also have Espeon and Machop as possible starters as well. Complete with the text changes, which, oh my god, such a pain in the ass. Yeah. Oh, so, so that is it. And of course, there, there will be other things that will become apparent as I get into the game, um, naturally. Um, this is going to be one I will do the post-game stuff with the Sevi Islands and everything, simply because this is not a world of nightmare fuel in terms of, of Pokemon things. Plus, there are at least one, I think there is one area in one of the Savvy Islands where more of those wild Pokemon changes have taken place that you'll be able to see. So, it, it's it's going to be fun. <laughs> boy, oh boy, is it going to be fun. So, uh, here we go. Hello there, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. Yes, I did use a randomizer at one point. You'll see what I mean. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little bit about yourself. Now tell me, are you a boy or are you a girl? Well, I am a boy. And holy shit, there's the first change right there. Yes, that is basically my representation in this world. <laughs> yes, let's begin with your name. What is it? Yes, and that is... Uh, yeah, see, that sprite work is all work I have done myself. Um, just taking the original, slop, swapped it around, and made it look like me. In a way, so at least in terms of what I wear, and I don't get what the coloration difference is there. I don't get why it changes between the, the initial and this one here, but you know we're only seeing it at the beginning here. This is my grandson. He has spiky hair. He's been your rival since you were both babies. In the crib, he took your he took your rattle, and you didn't like it, and he threw it out the crib, and and and, and oh, oh, what was his name? Uh, I'm just gonna go with the. Actually, the American canonical name, Blue. Uh, there we go. Uh, was it Blue? Yes, it was Blue. Oh, that's right. I remember now. His name is Blue. Goma! Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. So, yay. So, here we are. We have the NES here. Good old NES. It's time to go. And I do this now, otherwise that stupid, stupid NPC is going to stop me as I try to walk out of town later. As always, withdraw a potion. 
<sighs> it's always safe. Now, one t one change I did neglect when talking about Umbreon. Bye, Mom! Is, um... I did modify its moveset a little bit, and also a little bit of map modification as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm new at Pokemon map modding, can't you tell? But this is about the extent of it, so... Hey, wait! Don't go out! Oh, there you are. It's unsafe! Wild Pokemon live in tall grass! You need your own Pokemon for your protection! I know! Yeah, come with me! I love how the originals... I don't remember how I did it, but in the originals, I always read it as, You need Pokemon for your own protection! I know! Ha 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 ha! It's like... <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with me. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting! Blue? Let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come! Just wait. Here, Goma. There are three Pokemon here. Ha ha! The Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs! When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now, in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose! Just double checking my mic, <laughs> if you heard a couple of clicks there. Hey, Gramps, no fair! What about me? Be patient, Blue. You can have one, too. So, just to show off... Machop! Taking the place of Charmander. Espeon, taking the place of Squirtle. And taking the place of Bulbasaur is my favorite, Umbreon. Very easy to raise. I didn't change that, I just changed the names, but... And as you can see, all the names are, you know, they're not all caps anymore. I'll take this one then. Naturally, he goes for the one that's supposed to be strong against yours. Now, of course, Machop tends to start with Low Kick, and that would just make it a little unbalanced for this first battle, so I switched it out in favor of Tackle. It still learns Low Kick if you start with Machop, but it, it doesn't learn it right away. I think you have to level it up first. Oh, for Pete's sake, so pushy as always. Goma, you've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? A Pokemon battle is when trainers pit their Pokemon against each other. A trainer that may... Yeah, 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 we get it. We get it. Yeah, I get it. Ugh. It's like, yeah. And technically, this is this may be a little unbalanced because it's evolved against an unevolved. But, but I've done my playtesting, and if he has low kick, you, get take, you can still get taken down in like one or two shots. So, yeah. So you kind of need it to have tackle of it to make it a little bit more fair. Uh, and even then, it's still kind of. Eh. I thought I actually thought about messing with. Um, yeah, level up too. I actually thought about messing with the uh, individual values and the, the base stats or whatever, but uh, nah, I'll just keep it as is. Excellent. Yes, you earn prize money. Now, see if you lose this. Oak pays the prize money for you. Does he, does he do the same for Blue? Uh, smell you later! Okay, then. Yeah, and, and some of the palette choices I didn't get around to switching, but you know what? I think it makes the game look a little bit better. Route 1. Still got my potion. And, hi! I work at a Pokemon Mart. Yeah. Sells all sorts of stuff, huh? So I better, I guess I better check it out. That'd be pretty cool. Hey! And first battle. Ah, fucking Pidgey. Yeah. Yeah, these, this first episode probably will have more of... More grinding and more looking around than um, of future episodes, at least... Especially after I get Repel. Um, but these are supposed to go in an hour anyway, and hopefully I can explain more as I go along in this first one and be able to explain a bit and make it at least a little bit more entertaining. And, yeah. So, here we go. You got Pidgeys. You got Pidgey. Because you got to remember all of the, the whole Pokemon, if they're plural, it's, it's... I forget the actual term for it. But it's like a group of deer or, or a group of Umbreon. You know, that's, that's how the pluralism works in the Pokemon world. So yeah, you know, I want to play a Pokemon game where you actually go in the tall grass without a Pokemon and just 
I want the, I want them to like explore what happens to you as a character. By the way, I will probably overuse these these Pokemon centers, <laughs> especially for this game. Ah, oh, so he said there's a Pokemon Mart here. Let's go find it. There it is. Oh, hey, you came from Pallet Town? Yes, I did. You know Professor Oak, right? Yeah. He gave me my balls. Well, ball, rather. Zarda came in. Can you take it to him? Sure. Why not? Pallet Town needs a Pokemon. That's all I gotta say. I mean, it's like, up until, like, Black and White 2, it's like, all of the hometowns have, like, practically nothing. There's no Pokemon, no Pokemon Center. It's just absolutely nothing. Whoop. Yeah, another thing that I didn't switch the palette for is that shadow as you jump down. <laughs> uh, but, you know, again, it adds a little bit more of, of, a, of a touch to the game. So, yeah, I, I, I tend to leave it in. And also, yes, I added that house <laughs> just because. Just because I could. Oh, Goma, how is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. Watch that, you have something for me. <laughs> yeah. I'm just imagining, you know, who's supposed to be Red doing that. You know, just going, mm -mm. What'd you call me for? Oh, yeah. Oh, right. I have a request for you, too. On the desk there is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Goma and Blue, take these with you. Hey, you rhyme. Fuck yeah, Pokedex. And, yes, with the randomizer, I did check it for National Pokedex because... Hi, fucking Umbreon. Now I have my balls. <laughs> When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky. So you have to beat these things nearly to death to capture them. But I'm too old. I can't get the job done. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. You're not too old. You don't have gray hair yet. Or wait. Is that a fucking toupee? Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Oh, come on. I did that back in 99. All right, Gramps. Leave it to me. Gomer, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Gomer. Ha ha ha! Don't bother coming around to my place after this. Yeah, well, fuck you. I'm going over there anyway. Because your sister's hot. And, and, you know. I like to think that maybe Red and Daisy had a romance before going off on his adventure. Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. What do you say about about Daisy not giving me a town map, Blue? Uh-huh. And even if you don't get one, Fly still works. And you get one later on in your journey anyway. <laughs> if you take the uh, Sevi Islands um, side quest right there at, at the end of the 7th gym. Pidgey, fuck yeah. Alright, I'm going to capture this thing. Possibly. Yeah. Okay. Get in the Pokeball! What? Ah! Fuck you! There is no way to lower Umbreon's attack. That's not good. But that's okay. One, two, three. Yes! Gotcha! I got a Pidgey. I got a Pidgey. Does not like to fight. Oh, well, it was tackling my ass pretty good. Okay. And no, I am not capturing a goddamn Rattata. Fuck Rattata. Fuck the Rattata line. But it has super... But it has, 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 has the super... The super fang. So? There are other lines that are probably better than the Rattata line that also has super fang. I don't think they're in this game, though. Or maybe they are. I don't know. Point is, fuck Rattata. Good. And yes, I know. Get Pidgey out there first. But, eh. Oh, fuck you, Rattata. Fuck you and your, your, your fucking purple tail. 
Ugh. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother catching certain Pokemon until I have six in my party. And Rattata is one of them. Damn, I wish they gave you... I wish they gave you the running shoes earlier in this game and supposed to after you beat the first gym. Okay. So we're gonna do this. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. Yay! Ha! Huh. So, okay, I'm gonna go talk to this old man because we gotta do it anyway. Let's get it out of the way. Come here, old man. Well, now I've had my coffee, and that's what I need to get going. Ha, 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 ha. Hmm? What is that red box you have? Oh, so you're working on your Pokedex. Then let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex automatically updates its data. You don't know how to catch a Pokemon? Fucker, do you see me carrying around two Pokemon? I suppose I'd better show you then. Of course. And no matter what, you have to go through this. Uh, yeah, he's gonna catch a fucking Weedle. And while he does that, I take a drink of my Gatorade. Because we all know this. Little known fact, that's a Master Ball masquerading as a Pokeball. Either that or he's just that goddamn lucky. I do like how in Pokemon Yellow he tries and he fails. <laughs> yeah, now tell me, was that educational or not? Um, uh, no. And here, take this too. The Tichi TV. Who uses the Tichi TV? Seriously. Does anybody seriously use it? Because I think I may have used it once in my entire time of playing these games. Maybe once. I don't know. Free potion. Always good to have a free potion. Okay. Now this route over here, I know there are Pokemon I want to catch over there. Is it me or... It looks like my sideburns are just kind of dipping in and out of existence. <laughs> I don't know if that was the part on me or if it was just some sort of a thing there. But okay, let's see. Let's buy some Pokeballs, buy some potions, and an antidote. Why not? That clears me out for a while. Okay. Gotta try and keep my eye on the time. Mm. Yeah, considering I know pretty much what to do in this game. Because the, the basic plot, of, of course the main plot points haven't been changed. So it's not that extensive of a hack. But I do want to make sure I level up for Gary. Or Blue, in this case. I keep wanting to call him Gary. Oh, hey, Minky! I might want to capture you. But not at level 2. Goodbye. Ooh. Alright, I really should put Pidgey up front. <laughs> now this route, you would normally also find Spiro. But, um... Oh yeah, I heard you like Mudkip. Yes. The Hoenn starters are among those you can find. <laughs> yes, the first... The first of several that you can actually find in the wild, because you can't catch them normally, and of course with this, I'm not going to be setting up the whole link trade thing or what have you. So, yeah. These guys, they are a bitch to catch. I did not realize how much of a bitch these starters are to catch in the wild. I'll show you what I mean. Ten Pokeballs, that's what I'm starting with. Level 5 Mudkip, he's in the red. Ah! See? Oh, lowering my attack. Okay, that's good. Lower it more. Lower it more, and then if I have to tap you again, I can do so. One, two, three. Yes! I got a Mudkip, I got a Mudkip, I got a Mudkip. Sweet! And this is actually one of the ones I wanted to capture, too. I wanted to capture this Mudkip, because, you know, 
better a Mudkip than, say, a Mankey. And a Mudkip will last a, little, a lot longer, too. At least in terms of usefulness. I mean, it's going to have the ground typing as it evolves. It's going to be able to learn Surf and Muddy Water and Earthquake. So it covers a couple of types that I really like to have on my team. Oh, so yeah. And yes, the other two Hoenn starters are available on that route. They're a le little bit less rare than the other Pokemon I've dotted throughout the actual game. But they're still pretty rare. So I got I got kind of lucky there. So what's going to happen is there's still going to be a little bit more leveling up and, and stuff. And I'll try and entertain you a little bit. And plus, it might be a chance to see the other two Hoenn Pokemon and try and capture those as well. I got lucky. Only two Pokeballs. That was good. Hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> and a fucking Rattata. And we get to see Pidgey in action. Punk! Ooh, nice. That was very nice. A little fun fact uh, that I think some people may or may not know. That these back sprites for all of these older Pokemon, I believe they're just redr they're just drawn over from the Generation 2 back sprites. If I'm thinking right. Oh, what is this? Oh, another Rattata. Oh, Rattata! You need to go away. And what a better way to make you go away than my brand new spanking Mudkip. Brand spanking new Mudkip, I guess. Punk. Ooh, nice. Uh -huh. There we go. So, okay. Um... A Mankey. Normally I try and capture one, but now that I have a Mudkip, I, I think I'm just going to let Mankey go. Ow! Come on. Okay, I am switching out now because I don't want my Pidgey to faint. There we go. Okay. Uh. Whoop! Oh wow, Mudkip got it quite a boost too. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna head back to the Pokemon Center, heal them up a little bit because I try to save my potions, for, like trainer battles and shit. Um, because I, I I have this rule: don't waste a. Uh, a potion on a wild Pokemon. <sighs> Just don't do that. So, and always the rule, always be saving. Yes, I know there's a different game style. Are you sure you want to save and overwrite the other save file? Yes, I am. That's a good thing about this one. <laughs> you can just do it. Alright, so, what's going to happen here is I'm going to go, I'm going to level up a bit, and all that stuff. If I run into one of the other Hoenn po starters, then I'll undo the thing and, you know, it's pretty much going to be cut to whatever. If I capture, if I encounter, rather, a Hoenn starter, I'll cut to it. Once I'm done, it'll cut to that, whichever happens first. So, uh, yeah. So I'll be back one way or the other. Oh, and look at this! We've run into fucking Trico! Aw, oh, yeah, son! So, let's see. Oh, you're gonna use Leer. King of Leer, huh? King Leer. I don't know. But, oh, shit. Let's see, will it take it out? Damn it! Took it out. Well, that was really smart! But at the very least, Pidgey got a level. So, yeah, that happened. Damn it! And here we are, the other Hoenn starter, Torchic. I really do want to try and capture this one. Because it'll give me fire, which I don't normally have on my teams. And fighting. So it covers a couple of bases, and it'll help me with a couple of gym leaders. Oh. Uh-oh. Use some more Growlidge on me. Come on. Okay, eight Pokeballs. That's about as far down as I can take it without taking it out. 
to... Ah! ah! Damn it. Come on. No, don't scratch. Keep growling. Come on. Throw. Go in. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, yes. Another growl. Yes. Okay. Good. 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 Three. Come on. Come on. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Two. Three. You guys can't see it, but I'm like literally up against the screen every time it does that. And in. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, motherfucker. Really? Yeah, growl some more. Take that attack level down. Because <laughs> I don't want to knock you out. One. Damn, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> yeah, poor Umbreon is going to have this poor attack. <laughs> oh, punk. Okay, once again, come on, come on, come on. Ah! See what I mean by these starters are a bitch to catch? Okay. Let's give it a shot. Come on. Yes! Not much more. Not much. Yes, 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 yes. I think I could tap it one more time. Hope it's not a critical. <gasps> Ooh! Yes! Okay, okay, okay. Two more Pokeballs. One of them has to do it. With that low of HP, one of them has to do it. Motherfucker! Okay, I'm done to my last Pokeball here. Will it make it? Will it make it? Come on! You won. Damn, motherfucker! Well, fuck you too. Fuck you too, Torchic. Fuck you. Goodbye. Fine, if I can't have you, nobody can have you. Man. Ah. Well, I'm out of Pokeball, so it's just level grinding now. See you when I return. Alright, all that level grinding is done. And I might, you know, if you doubt me, I might release that as like a separate video. Like, yes, with plenty of um, uh, uh, throttling as well. <laughs> Not throttling, but uh, speed boosting as well. But, here we are. Everybody's at level 10, ready to go. Umbreon, you're going up front. There you go. And now... Oh, almost forgot. Always be saving. Ah, uh, yes. How could we forget? <laughs> oh, lordy. This is just the beginning of the game grinding. You know? I mean, it's not bad. But... You know, you know, things will things will get a little more difficult later on. I'll probably have one or two more grinding sessions before the run is over. At least. Oh, hey, Goma! You're off to the Pokemon League. Forget about it. You probably don't have any badges, do you? The guard won't let you through without them. And you would know because you tried, didn't you? By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Well, yeah. I would say so. Oh, look, he's got a Pidgey, too. I have an Umbreon. Still. <laughs> you try and tackle in vain! Yeah, just try and recall your Pokemon now. Ooh! Machop! Now I have something I can counter it with. <laughs> Hi! There you go. Oh. Didn't quite take it out, but that's okay. Should know low kick by now, shouldn't it? Oh well. But he's gone, so that's fine. Holy shit! Oh, you just lucked out. A measly 144. Yeah, that doesn't replace all the Pokemon balls I wasted on Hoenn Pokemon, dude. Alright, the Pokemon League is crawling with tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. I don't want to know how you're going to get past them. Well, I kind of do. Because if you're cheating, then, you know, you need to be taken out back and slapped around. With a wake-up slap, you know? Whee! <laughs> and since this guy has already had his coffee, or recovered from his hangover, we're going to go on to Route 2. Yay! 
And I think I know exactly where I can end this with this video, considering my timer is thrown off because, well, I just had to do all that level grinding. <laughs> Viridian Forest. I am putting Pidgey up front. Because, yeah. Those are always cool. They're all itching to get into Pokemon battles. Well, bugs do tend to itch. Make you itch. Speaking of bugs, I may capture one. I don't know, though. I did not really like going for bug Pokemon. And especially, especially now that I don't really need one to take on Brock or Misty. Because Brock can be taken on with Mudkip, and Misty's Starmie can be counteracted with Umbreon. So, that, that's usually my test for who I pick as a starter. If I, if I know, like, the first two gems, then that's who I base my starter on. Doesn't work in Pokemon Black or White, though. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so, hey, you know, you, you can't, we can't win them all. I don't, it doesn't even really work for Black 2 and White 2 as well, so. But, no, I'm coming over here because I know there's an item I want. I would need a Pokeball anyway. <laughs> okay, what are we... Jeebus! How many Weedle am I going to run into? Just run into every... Are we just going to run into every Weedle on the way through this thing? I mean, goddamn. Shit! I will be so happy when I get Repel. <laughs> Which I guess, you know, having Repel will necessitate some more, uh, some more grinding sessions off camera, of course. Hopefully not in the middle of a video like it was this time. Ugh. Oh, what's over here? A potion! Free potion! Hi. Let's run Pokeballs. Oh, you ran out of Pokeballs. That's why you can never have too many Pokeballs. Oh, son, let me tell you. Hi. Hey, you have Pokemon. Come on, let's battle them. Okay. Even though I'm not really facing you. I, I've just got to say, I still like how I did the back sprite for the trainer. <laughs> it's not much, but, you know, uh, I'm still kind of proud of it. Yeah, and let's gust. Yeah, goodbye, Weedle. I think I need to give somebody else a turn. <laughs> oh, Caterpie. Perfect. Perfect for my Mudkip! <laughs> Don't have anything that's super effective against it, but you know what? It works. Ah, there we go. Yay! No, Caterpie can't hack it! Yeah, at least Weedle can poison you. Potentially. I wonder if there's something in any of these. Nope. Sometimes. Sometimes there's things in those things. Those flowers. Hey. Hey. I'm right behind you, dude. Hey, hey! Yo, you can't jam out if you're in a poke if you're a Pokemon trainer. I don't want to jam out. I actually want to fight you. Doug. <laughs> I wonder if Doug Walker would have a Pokemon. If, you know, if you were to give a team to Pokemon team to Doug Walker, what would what would his team consist of? And would he have a full six Pokemon? Pidgey's up to level 12. I kind of need to get the other guys some uh, experience, especially Mudkip. Mudkip needs some experience. <laughs> I mean, granted, he's got Water Gun, and he's all right there, but... You know, that fucking Onyx is level 14 that I'm going to be going up against, so... Yeah. Oh! Ow. Critical. It's a critical, and it didn't poison me. Oh, my God. Sweet! Oh yeah, Mudkip is a level 11. Mm-hmm. Taste it. Oh, Kakuna. 
Oh yeah, Metapod and Kakuna, all they know how to do when the world is hardened. Lucky for me, Water Gun is not affected by their physical defense. So, goodbye. <laughs> I always thought Kakuna had an interesting cry. Just... Uh, what does this sign say? Trainer tips. Contact Professor Oak via PC to get your Pokedex evaluated. Well, I won't be doing that. Free antidote. Considering there are Weedle around here, yeah... Hey, dude. Might be little, but I won't. But I won't like it if you go easy on me. Since when do I go easy on a computer player? I don't go easy. It's either you go hard or you go home, and I'm going hard. I'm going hardcore. I really should switch Mudkip, but you know. Goodbye. Uh, Caterpie, Caterpie, Caterpie. Caterpie, Caterpie, Caterpie. Hmm. And I don't think you like getting wet. Most bugs don't, I don't think. Considering the number of them I've actually, you know, washed down a drain, they probably don't like it. Yet, surprisingly, water is not their weakness. Hmm. But then again, you can burn bugs pretty good, too. <laughs> oh, boo! I'll tell you one thing, though. It's it's a rarity, but I think... I don't think I switched it out. So you could capture Pikachu in here. And if Pikachu pops up, I might capture it. Maybe. I'm debating on that. Simply because I want an electric Pokemon. Possibly. Uh, and at some point I will capture myself an Abra. Because I do eventually want a Mr. Mime. Because, you know, I, I don't use Mr. Mime very often. I would like to, I'd like to see how he plays out for this. Way up there, you're not even looking. Hey dude, what you looking at? Did you know that Pokemon evolve? <laughs> Is that why you were looking at the tree? What you doing looking at the tree, dude? It's a Metapod! Oh, look at his lazy little eyes. Looks like he's gonna sleep. Sleep now, Metapod. Shh, 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 You know what? I'll switch out for Umbreon. Because I know you could probably use a good leveling or two. Uh. So, I'm gonna switch, keep him in. Yeah. <sighs> What were they thinking when they made some of these sounds? It's like, okay, what sound does a Metapod make? Uh, it makes a sound. It makes a disk drive sound. Eh, I don't know. That's what it sounds like to me. What about you guys? You know, you feel like the Metapod. See, that. That doesn't sound like a disk drive to you guys, or is it just me? Oh, I lost! Through Viridian Forest, I find a Pokeball item. What? Another potion. I'm just stocking up on these potions. I don't think I've had to use one all 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 uh, all game so far. No matter. Hi. Oh, a Metapod. Yeah, I'm just gonna water gun you to death. And of course, if you catch a wild Metapod, all it's going to know in, to do in the world is hard. Oh shit, I do have a Mudkip. You know what this means? 
I don't have to put out $500 for a damn Magikarp. Which is good because I'm not fishing in this game. I'm just not. I just don't plan on it. <laughs> Which may or may not be because I didn't do the sprites for them. Maybe. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway. Weedle, weedle, weedle. Poison, poison, poison. You know what? I have an Umbreon that could use that experience. Punk. There you go. And Umbreon gained a level. Yay! I give. You're good at this. So we're out of the forest. Hooray! Let's see if I can't get into a Pokemon battle before I hit uh, Pewter City. Here we go. Oh, it's just a Pidgey. I think... I, I think I'll have some time. So I can go ahead and take on the first gem and we'll call it there. Um... Nah. By the way, Routes 1 and 2 do have Pokemon that, that I've switched around. I'm not telling you what they are. Okay, so we have this ready. And we're going in. Pewter City, Pewter City Gym, Rock Type, Brock. Fuck yeah. Fucking horny ladies dude. Let's do this. I think that's so cool. Just be, 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 be. all right. Let's do this. Hiya! Do you want to dream big? Do you dare to dream of becoming the Pokemon champ? I'm no trainer, but I can advise you on how to win. How the fuck? Let me take you to the top. No, it's free service. Let's get happening. Oh, I don't. I don't care. No, I don't care. I don't care. Who are you? 10,000 light years from face facing Brock. No, I'm not. He's right up there. He's right in front of me, dude. I'm not that far away. So we have Rock Type Gym. Which Mudkip is going to be, you know, happy as shit in. Thank goodness pre Gen 5 sturdy rules do not apply. Oh. And Sand Shrew, the odd man out, because it has no rock typing. It just looks like a rock, but it's actually a ground type. Okay. Goodbye, Sand Shrew. Darn! Light years isn't time, it measures distance. Wait, you were going for time? Are you serious? You suck! You're pretty hot, but not as hot as Brock. Um... Is there something you need to tell me? Like, that you find your gym leader hot? So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. I am not going to try and do the anime voice as much as possible. My rock-hard willpower is evident even in my Pokémon. I don't know, I may do it anyway. My Pokemon all are rock hard and have two true grit determination. Uh, I'm sure that's not the only thing that's rock hard, dude. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. Fwahaha! <laughs> You're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. Uh, yes, so first gym leader, Brock. He has Geodude and Onyx. Geodude, yeah. What level did I say his Onyx was? I don't even remember anymore. But we're gonna find out. Mudkip got a good level up though. <laughs> oh! Nah, I, I, I'm keeping my ass out here. 
How that thing does not have Intimidate is beyond me. And... Whoop. Boom! This was too easy. Holy shit, level 15! Do I wanted to learn Bide? Um, sure. I'll give it a Bide. I'll give it Bide this time. Bide is not usually one of my favorites, but... I'll give it a shot on this Mudkip. I took you for granted, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this. The official Pokemon League Boulder Badge! What? Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful, and also enables the use of Flash outside of battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know the move Flash to use it. And I get 1,400 Poke Dollars. So, of course, we also get TM39, which he never got to use, but it is... Rock Tomb, I believe. Yep. So we have Rock Tomb, we have the Boulder Badge. Our first gym leader is taken care of. And now we go back to the Pokemon Center for a good rest. Because we did quite a bit today. <laughs> we beat our first gym, we've got three Pokemon now. And holy shit, there's more along the way. Uh, oh, wow. So, there is that. Hopefully it's a, it's a decent enough start for you guys. Uh, if it's not, give it time. Hopefully things will get a little bit better. Always be saving. Especially in this case. Uh, as you will see, hopefully, at the start of the next episode. But until then, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Again, if it's a little slow, hopefully you'll give it some time. Things should pick up in the next few episodes. <laughs> oh, it's, it, the beginnings are always kind of rough, so you know, a little rough, a little slow going. But as we get going and things happen, then hopefully things will be a little bit more exciting. And if you like it, great. If you don't like it, well, I'm sorry. I'll try better for next time. Uh, so we will see you next week on Gomer Plays Pokemon Fire Red.